Todd Armstrong, the creator's hand, photography.ca. Last night I went to bed, it was like a normal day. This morning I woke up and uh, <clears throat> there was a, over a foot of snow. And uh, I was kind of inspired, I was like, I was thinking about people's photos and how, you know, people go out and they buy a really nice camera and then they, they take a bunch of shots, what they think is good, and they don't look good. And they kind of give up and say, oh, I guess I'm not a very good photographer. I don't know about that. I think that, uh, I think they're missing something. I think it's something very simple. So today what I want to talk about is a very easy thing to learn. It's called white balance. Um, I want to say how important it is. Uh, I want to kind of show you how you can adjust your white balance so that you can get better photos. I'll show you what I mean. Right now this is really cold. Just make a little adjustment. See? Oh, 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 me, all about uh, there. And that's probably close to white there. So, the thing is, when you just go out and buy a camera, always your uh, camera's going to automatically do uh, auto white balance. And almost every camera I've ever seen, your images always, always, always come out really cold. I prefer warm images. Or even white. White, your whites are white, not blue. Um, and even snow, to look gray, gray blue. So, um, yeah, back when I used to shoot film a lot, a lot more than I do now, and um, what we do when we shoot film is, uh, if you, let's say you go into a room where there's a, a white, like a, a tungsten light bulb, uh, your, uh, your white balance will look really warm or orangish tone, and uh, it looks awful. So what we do is we put on a, a filter. Uh, it would be a blue filter. Uh, let's say if you go into a room where there's a fluorescent light, it gives off a nasty green color. So we throw on a magenta uh, filter and it would bring back to white. Um, now it's different bulbs and it can get tricky, but now with digital, you don't have to do those filters. It's right in the body. If your images are coming out cold, kick up the warm. It's just it's simply in your white balance. Um, Today what I want to teach you is to get away from your uh, uh, auto function of white balance. I want you to run, um, well, whatever the day requires, whatever situation requires. You go into a house, you shoot for that. It's so easy to adjust. You adjust it once and you're good to go. So here's what I want to show you. <clears throat> so in, in a lot of cameras, um, uh, you'll be able to dig it out in the menus. It shouldn't be hard to find because it's one of the easiest things. It should be one of the easiest things to find because it's one of the most important things to know about about digital photography is the white balance. Uh, if you have uh, some software like Photoshop and Lightroom and Aperture and that kind of thing, you can adjust it in there. But if you don't have that, you don't need that. You can just adjust it right on your camera. Just set your white balance. So. You'll find it, it'll be called WB white balance or just white balance. And um, and so then you go into that menu and there's there'll be a couple little pictures. There's usually pictures. I'll show you Nikon. You can figure out what your different camera is, um, what it is on each one. But for my camera, it's simply you hold down the WB button and um, and rotate. And you get all these little pictures. I don't know if you can even see that, but you get little pictures anyways. And um, by default, it's on the A. It's always too cold. I find it's always too cold, and then it jumps. So what I want to show you is, I just want to encourage you, try out your other white balances. So here we go. Um, so the first one, I get a little light bulb. I won't show you. It's a little light bulb, basically a tungsten light bulb. And um, um, so it's because if you go into a house, or something like that, and the uh, lights will be a tungsten bulb, it'll give off a really hard orange look to your photos. So then your auto will jump the other way and probably make it too cold. But what you can do is, if you actually go to that little light bulb, it'll actually balance it. It'll go, oh, okay, you're shooting a light bulb? Oh, tungsten light? Okay, and that it'll, it'll balance that for you. You just have to go to light bulb. And some of them you can actually, for mine, you can deepen that even further. You can adjust how much uh, 
orange is coming off or whatever warmth is coming off that light you can change it in increments within just that one setting but just to start just check out the little light bulb next one on this one is uh it looks like a bar with a light flashing off of it that's fluorescent that's one of the nastiest lights on the universe <laughs> it gives off this nasty green look um and so what it does is you're adding uh, kind of a reddish tone, magenta, I don't, magenta, and it brings back your green to white again. Um, <clears throat> another one is uh, your sun. Your sun is usually really hot, right? So your photos will look, out, look a little too warm. So if you go to the little sun setting, it'll cool them down just a little bit. Uh, next one is the flash. That's just if you're using flash photography, you tell it, hey, I'm using the flash, and it'll meter, it'll... Um, set your white balance to as if uh, flash is just kind of a little bit cold, kind of neutral, ill set to that. Um, the next one is the cloud. That's what I'd probably use today. Um, it's a, in a cloudy day, it gets, it's a cold, cold color. <laughs> and uh, so you bring that back to warm. You warm the photo up when you go to the uh, the um, little cloud there. Next one is the next one is, is similar but different. I won't go into exactly how different, um, but it's it's as if it's in a sunny day. It shows a, sorry it shows a little house with like a shadow behind it. That's basically if you're in a normal sunny day or whatever, but you're in the shade. The shade is really cold. That's a really good test actually. If you shoot uh, shoot something in the sun and then jump into the shade and take some pictures, you'll be like, oh my goodness, it's super cold to hot. Um, next one is, it just shows a K, I believe they're Kingston's or something, and uh, I won't go into that, but that's basically what I just use now. Um, you can adjust the warmth exactly, you know, by increments. But the last one is probably the most important one that I have. It's called Pre, P-R-E. Um, uh, some might say program but you're basically going to be programming the white balance. So what they would do is you can have what's called a gray card or, you know, a white card or a black card. You can actually use a sheet of paper. So what you're going to do is you're, you're kind of saying that's your source of light. So let's say if you walk into a house, again, you got the tungsten light and um, you want a perfect white balance. There's a couple of options. You can use a gray card. You can, what I like to use is, um, it's called an expo disc. There's other things like it, cheaper models and could be better models by now. And so basically you put this filter on, go with a 77 mil, get the biggest one, and then it fits all your lenses. But you put that, you just hold it on, go to your white balance, hold down the white balance until it starts blinking. The pre will start blinking. And then you just point with that on, you point towards your source of light and take a photo. It won't actually take a photo, but it takes a balance, a white balance, um, a meter, a check, whatever. <laughs> and um, uh, then it tells the camera, this is the source of light. This is what it's looking light like. Another way is if you just, you know, walk into a room with a sheet of white paper and uh, do hold down the pre, wait until it starts blinking, take your photo, and it'll get a balance of your, uh, your, um, that's a lot of snow. Cars are getting stuck everywhere. Uh, yeah, so I think about it, I think I missed a lot of stuff. But what I want to encourage you is, yes, your white balance is amazing. You start digging in your white balance and your photos will just completely change. It's such an easy, like I went through everything. No, well, not everything, but you know what I mean. So uh, there's, a, there's a lot more to it, but just start, just start playing with them. Get out of auto. Like, auto is so, I don't know, it's all over the place. And it's really cold. I, I don't like it. I'm not an auto fan. But, um, I mean, it's great. Anyways, check out your white balance. Um, play with it. Uh, if you got questions, fire away, let me know. Um, and let me know if this helps. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for uh, watching. Todd Armstrong, the creator's hand photography.ca. Thanks a lot.